Hi, thanks so much for joining me on this IGTV. This one is all about the impact of COVID on your wedding. This one is for couples who have perhaps booked a full day wedding, had planned on having a big full celebration and are looking at the prospect of maybe having to go ahead with the legal ceremony sooner and having the celebration at another time. Um, I've shared on my feed recently some weddings that I've photographed and it's created some questions about how are they doing this, what they do it, what are people doing and I thought I would share with you examples from three couples that I've worked with this year to give you some ideas and a, a starter to go off and have a conversation together to see what would suit you what, and what you would like to do. So it's, it's likely that you've already rescheduled your wedding once or twice already at the moment and with things being so uncertain perhaps we're thinking what are we going to do next year or this year if it's if you've got something planned for later this year so I'm going to talk first of all about a couple in August who decided that for them it was all just about getting married that was the thing they wanted to they wanted to do they wanted to be husband and wife and so for them, they just wanted to do the legal ceremony this year and that was it. They aren't planning on having a celebration at a later date. So they cut their hours down, they rearranged their wedding, they had the dresses, the hair, the makeup, the suits, the flowers, everything that they were going to have on their full day, they had just for the ceremony. And because it was August, it was really lovely and we got to do it outside. Um, and the plan was originally that they were going to go off to Birmingham and have the night together in a really lovely meal and hotel. That didn't happen. They ended up doing something else. But just to give you an idea of what you could do after your legal ceremony. You might be thinking of having the legal ceremony sooner as well so you can get on with your life and stuff that you had planned to do when you were married. Maybe start a family, buy a home, go traveling. Although that would be difficult at the moment I guess um, but you know you obviously wanted to get married and maybe you had plans for when you got married you had stuff that you wanted to do together so this way you can get married still do the legal bit and the ceremony and then have the celebration at a later date with your family and friends um, the other couple I want to talk about I photographed their wedding a few weeks ago um, and what they did this year they really want to get married and have the and be married as did my couple in August but what they did was this year create a kind of mini version of what they're planning on doing next year so they're they've already rearranged the wedding from this year to next year and then they decided actually we would really love to be married so let's just do what we can this year so it's done and so they have kept the photos private because next year they want the full day to feel like they're that it is their original wedding, um, especially for their guests. They had the same outfits, flowers, the only thing I think that's been different was the food, and obviously everything was just on a much smaller scale. And my third couple that I'd love to talk to you about are getting married in November. They've rearranged their wedding two or three times already this year. They're so desperate to get married and be husband and wife, and it, I just love their commitment to getting it done. They're planning a ceremony this year and a reception within the legal guidelines that they can do. And then next year, they're not having a ceremony um, like full day. They are gonna have a late afternoon, early evening party um, with all their friends. And the bride's really excited because she gets to wear her dress twice, um, because when do you ever really get to do that? Um, but yeah, so, they're, so all, all three have done something different. They've done something that suits them, they've talked, they've decided what they want to do. So this really is just hopefully giving you an idea of options for you guys. Go away, chat, discuss what you want to do. Um, one thing which would be great to talk to you about is that when you have your legal reception, sorry, ceremony this year, next year, if you want to have the full day and make it seem um, like you are legally getting married next year, but you obviously don't need to do the legal bit. Um, you could book a, a celebrant instead of having a blessing with the registrar or in the church or, or whatever. Um, and on my next IGTV, I'm interviewing a humanist celebrant called Laura. Uh, 
and I'm really excited just to chat with her, find out all about what she does, what she can offer. Um, and I've photographed a couple of humanist celebrant weddings led by, sorry, led by humanist celebrants. And um, they're really lovely, really, really like them. They, you get to hear all about the couple, how they met, um, what they like to do. Uh, and it, it, it's really, really nice. So if you've got any questions for Laura um, or any questions about what I've talked about, on this IGTV, just pop them in the comments or DM me and I'll be happy to chat to you as always. But um, this is just a short one, hurrah. Um, but thanks for watching, see you soon.